Oh, they so cute. They know I'm cooking, that's why. Right, so um, this week I've been a little bit sick of turkey chilli. I think I've had it every day this week. So I've asked my mum to come up with a new recipe. She's actually come around to give me a hand with this recipe. Uh, it's something that I used to eat when we were kids all the time. We actually used to do it with uh, steak mince, but today we're going to do it with uh, turkey mince. And it's a turkey mince... I forgot what we're making. What are we making? Uh, turkey mince meatloaf. Um, this is a great little recipe, you can add this with anything. I like having this with those sweet potato wedges that I shared with you last week. Um, this what? Beans. Beans. You can have this with anything. Right, so all you need is... Right, okay, and this is everything we need. We want 80 grams of breadcrumbs, ideally stale breadcrumbs, but I didn't have them, so what I've done is I've just grated, um, I've just grated some breadcrumbs up, and then an egg, 500 grams of turkey mince, some turkey sausages, turkey rashes, turkey bacon, diced onion, um, garlic, one garlic, two tablespoons of soy or Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of tomato puree, a big dutty mixing bowl and a loaf tin and some salt and pepper. Right, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off all the skin from the turkey sausages. You can chuck the skin because we're not going to use that and then just place all the meat from the turkey sausages into the big mixing bowl. Right, once we've got all the sausage meat in, we can chuck in the turkey mince. Don't forget to take out the meat nappy. You don't want that in your meatloaf. And then we can start adding, all, adding in all the extra bits. So we've got the uh, breadcrumbs, uh, the diced onions, uh, the garlic, and we're also going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper. You can season that to taste, but because the uh, because the sausages are already seasoned, you don't actually need a huge amount of salt and pepper. I mean, adding salt and pepper is not going to mess with the macronutrient breakdown too much, but obviously we don't want to have a huge amount of uh, salt or sodium in the diet. Uh, and then we're just going to add in our uh, two tablespoons of tomato puree. Uh, again, this is seasoned to taste, so if you want to add in a little bit extra, you can do. Again, it's not going to mess with the macronutrient breakdown too much. Um, and then we're either using the Worcestershire sauce. Um, you can even use fish sauce um, or even balsamic. I've used balsamic vinegar in the past. And then we're just going to finish that off with the egg. Right, okay, next up. There's only one way of doing this, and you need to get your hands dirty. Um, so just get your hands in, give the mixture a real good mix up, just squeeze it, squidge it, throw it about and it should sort of like look like this. It's not going to all stick together but it should look something similar to that. It should be sort of like a little bit like a cookie dough texture. Right next up we're going to get our turkey bacon and we're going to line our, um, I think this is a loaf tin, so we're going to line the loaf tin with turkey rashes. Again, you can put in as many turkey rashes as you want, but obviously this is going to uh, mess with the macronutrient breakdown. I think we used about eight and a half in this recipe. I'll, I'll post the macros and that on the group later on. And then we're just going to take the mixture and we're going to stuff it down, make sure it's in all the corners at the bottom so there's no air getting down at the bottom and it should all bind together once we put it in the oven. Right, so that's been in the oven for about, how long did it go in for? 40 minutes. About 40 minutes. Do you want to do the honours? Look at that. Wow. That is going to be tasty. So it looks like we're going to get about eight portions out of that. I'm going to work out the macros and post them here, if my editing skills are up to scratch. Um, and remember, this lasts probably like three or four days. You can even freeze this. Uh, I'm going to have this with some rice actually today. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to give these recipes a go. Make sure you post your pictures. Tell me if you like them or not. All right, see you later, guys. Bye.